So, you've gotten bored of med chemistry and you want to move on to the more experimental, unhelpful chemistry, huh? So you're a scientist? You just, uh, you just want to watch the world burn? I understand that. So, here's your lab. Here's the chemistry science lab. This will be a quick one. Just gonna teach you how to make grenades real quick. So, you've got a shit ton of beakers in here. Which is very useful. So, I'm just gonna run through the basic process of some chemistry and just a little bit of chemistry and the process of making grenades. So, you grab some metal, bring this up, make a whole bunch of these. Just click it a whole bunch. And, uh, you'll have made a lot of these. Now, you can, as well as making grenades, you can also turn these into bombs. And the way you do that is you've got some timers and you've got some igniters over here. There we go. So you got tools. What you want to do is grab a screwdriver, click that. Timer is, oh, actually no. We want it to be attachable. We want those them both to be attachable. You know, attach them together like so. Then you click the screwdriver on it again, and now it's ready. Then you just click on a grenade casing, and you've got a bomb casing. That's how you make a bomb. Uh, we need some cable coil, actually. So let's uh, grab some from... We don't have robotics access, so we can't uh, go in there. What is what has happened to botany here? And what is all this person stuff on the ground for? Oh my god. Alright. So, we'll go over here. We'll go in here, get some cable. There's probably cable closer than that, but, uh, yeah. We got cable now. Go in backpack. Run all the way back to chemistry. And cable is all you need to turn grenade casings into grenade casings. <laughs> These are, you just click and they are literally called the exact same thing. But you need to uh, put cable on them to turn them into activatable grenades. So now. Each of these grenade casings and bomb casings can hold two beakers. So, let's start with a real fucking nasty one, shall we? Something that you would be a damn monster to use this on uh, somebody. We're going to first of all make some sulfuric acid, which is sulfur, oxygen, and hydrogen. Sulfur, oxygen, hydrogen. Then we're going to go and add some fluorine, hydrogen, and potassium to this. Fluorine, hydrogen, potassium. Oh, we need to empty some of this. Potassium, and actually, we only need 20 of each. So eject that beaker. Going to stick it in there. Crank it all the way up, turn it on. What we're making is fluorosulfuric sulfuric acid, which is basically sulfuric acid on crack. All right, it's made. You eject it. Now we've got that. All right, so that's one part of our grenade. So to basically, it, make this fluorosulfuric acid cover as much uh, ground as possible we're also going to add smoke to this grenade so the smoke recipe is potassium sugar and phosphorus but I will show you something if you just make uh, sugar potassium phosphorus it, it just the reaction happens right away so what you want to do is only put half of the recipe and we're not we're actually not gonna waste a big beaker for this we're going to get a tiny beaker out of this box and we're going to put half of that in so we're gonna put the phosphorus and the potassium in this one all right and then the other part of the um, 
recipe, which is sugar. So now, when they break apart, or when they combine in the grenade, they will, it will create the smoke. And that will be the reaction of the, the uh, you know, grenade. And it will spray the fluorosulfuric acid everywhere. So let's, uh, grab these, this monkey cube box. We're going to throw a bunch of monkey cubes in here. All right. We're also going to uh, make these monkeys appear. Make my monkeys grow. So, here's our nasty grenade. We're not going to use it just yet. We'll keep it there for safekeeping. Let's uh, give these monkeys a uh, good time before we uh, end their life. So let's uh, let's make some LSD first. So I'm going to grab a small beaker and see if it's going. I don't under. This is something wrong with this version of um, Paradise Code or whatever, I think, because scientists, for whatever reason, do not have access to maintenance, which doesn't make any sense whatsoever. So actually, I can't... Well, I can. I'm gonna uh, cut it here, and then we'll be back with access to maintenance. All right, so what I've done to mitigate the problem of not having access is just gotten the captain's spare ID. Normally you won't have to do this because uh, I don't know what's wrong with uh, this version of Beyond that I have, or not Beyond, but Paradise. But we got some fungus, so now we can make some LSD. That's all we needed. Uh, going the wrong way. All right, so all you need for LSD is some space fungus and a little bit of uh, this diet thing that I can't pronounce, dieth diethylamine, which you got a locker of, and for some reason it is lagging like crazy for me. Guess I've had the server running for too long, uh, but we don't need that anymore. So we're gonna hurry this up. Uh, do this. All right. We've got some LSD. All right. Yep. Get rid of some of it. And then we're also going to make some uh, space drugs in here to add a little extra, which is lithium mercury sugar. Uh, lithium is where? All right. So now there's some space drugs in there. We'll do a little uh, more. There we go. And we're also going to add some more sugar, which is going to be the base of yet, um, we'll use, we'll use this time bomb. Gonna need another beaker with potassium and phosphorus, so these drugs form a smoke cloud. So, we put tens of potassium, phosphorus, alright, eject, and now this thing has two beakers in it. Now we can give these monkeys a good time before they die a horrific death. So, what you need to do first is take your screwdriver. Where the fuck did I put that screwdriver? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, hold on. Alright, I got a screwdriver. Take the screwdriver, click it. You lock the assembly. So it's ready. So now, when you activate it in your hand, you can set how long you want the timer to be. So we'll set it to the, about that. We'll come in here, make sure this monkey doesn't escape. And we'll start it, and then we're gonna drop it. And you better get the fuck back in there, monkey. And you can sit here and watch what happens. They are gonna be super high is what's gonna happen. As you can see, that smoke is just full of drugs. And, yeah, that's more or less the reaction you're going to get from this other grenade we have. Except, instead of fun drugs, it's going to be fluorosulfuric acid. So, now we'll get to see what that happens. And then I'm going to end this one. This is another one that you just got to experiment on your own. I've 
taught you the basics of how grenades work and how you need to put like half of a recipe in one beaker and half of the recipe in another to form the uh, reactions that would normally happen immediately if you were to mix just all the ingredients in a beaker but these monkeys are hallucinating like crazy right now and uh, so we're just going to toss this grenade in here real quick and oh no oh no that didn't work but as you can see that is look at how far it reached even in places where the smoke didn't go it melted just everything so and by the way I tested this on um, a person when I was just fooling around on my own on this server last night just to see what it does to a person it it crits them immediately if <laughs> and as you can see all those monkeys just died so that's a that's a real nasty grenade if you're you know a traitor and wanna really kill some people that is the way to do it but all right thanks for joining me for this short science chemistry tutorial and i hope you learned something all right see ya